Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Casper Network, aka Casper. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So first off, this one has been on my accumulation list for a while. This is my number one hold, as you guys do know. Um, why is that? Well, let's actually talk about a few things. So first off, we still are trading against resistance at about that three... You know, it's almost like three cents exact. It's like three one six or so um, at that yellow line. This is the weekly, you know, EMA. Um, and when we really kind of look at this, right? So I've actually been watching this one pretty closely. I've been accumulating around this like support zone at, you know, almost two and a half cents. It's like a little bit over like two and a quarter. Um, but this is what I have been looking at in regards to, you know, where is the support range? Recently, we came down and kind of touched just slightly above it, which is okay. I still bought around that range anyways. Um, and that has been my accumulation zone for a while. I still am looking to see if we do get those other ICO pricing, which I doubt we do. I, I honestly think that we've probably seen our lowest point for Casper. If we haven't, then it's okay because I still will be buying. Um, but I do think that we've probably seen our lowest point on Casper. Now, with that in mind, what I am watching for going forward is, you know, every single bear market does last about 360 some days or so um, we are nearing that November would be our bear market bottom official or our bear market end uh, we could have already have seen our bottom pricing which is totally fine to me I think that you know I have been accumulating for a while I think that any pricing around this current level on Casper as well as some other major assets could ultimately net us a ton of money um, and ultimately financially free a lot of individuals that are aware of what is happening around this market and really kind of paying attention to these tokens that are extremely undervalued so when we look at even three cents you know the next fib level from the bottom range here is about a 2x opportunity it's almost six cents at the 236 after that it is still hitting that nice resistance resistance zone since uh march of 2022 uh, which i think that this is when we got listed on a major exchange i'm pretty sure uh we came up to test about like i think it was like 11 cents almost yeah so you know, this is the 382. This is 11 cents almost. Um, again, from our level currently, you know, it's a pretty nice substantial move. Um, then after that, it's onward to some new heights. Um, the last one here would be the 0 0.5 uh, five, uh, fib level, sorry, uh, which would be 17 cents. If you look at this on the, this is using the log scale. If we turn off the log scale, the next level from our bottom range would be the uh, 236 at 32 and a half cents. Um, what I'm looking at in the next major cycle is honestly just like the 1618, uh, which if we are actually looking at that level, it would be the $16 range. This is using FIB levels, which again, do I think that we could hit $16? Probably not. Um, again, this is using the CMC all-time highs. If we bring it down to our recent high back in November to have a little bit more of a realistic approach, um, it is like a dollar, which do I think that that is our high? No. Um, that's why I do think that this token is a little bit harder to really kind of determine FIB levels off of. I usually don't like to use just FIB, uh, FIB levels alone to really kind of price out a token. If I wanted to look at something more realistic, I would go off of like the 61 cent zone just because we have multiple weekly candles there. Um, and then if that is the case, you know, our all time highs are pretty good in regards to making some gains, but I'm looking at this 1618 up at about $4.72. Uh, from our current level, this would be about 150x opportunity. Is the $4.72 zone realistic for Casper? I think that it is. I think that this is, you know, a probable chance for us. I think that it is a, a shot in the dark almost. Um, and there's a few levels before that we could definitely take some profits at. I mean, this is almost a 50x at $1.50. Um, at $2.40, this is like a 76 opportunity. And then after that, like I said, you know, it, it, anything over 100x opportunity is an easy profit take point. Because again, like even if we do top out, say for so, at around like, you know, $4.72, Say for so, even if we run up a little bit um, higher, say, say for so, like, you know, $5, um, our 80% drop or our 90% drop, which is the average, uh, would be around like 30 some cents, possibly to, you know, we'll say if it's just like an 80% drop, you know, it's still a dollar. So you're still going to be able to buy that uh, much lower than you sold at, you know, even if you'd sold at $1.50, $2.40, et cetera. So, 
You know, to me, I, I, I always will have a bag of Casper on the sidelines. I do have to update my Casper exit plan because it has changed since last cycle uh, because of things that we have been watching for. So let's actually dive into a few things and let's actually talk about a few things. So first off, we do see Casper Network is going to disrupt the gaming industry. Uh, there are rumors of a few games going to be launched on Casper. And real quick, I do also want to say something. Um, I almost forgot, actually. Um, I keep seeing a lot of individuals ask me, how do you buy Casper? I no longer use Uphold to buy Casper, and I actually you know, voice this on Twitter as well. For anybody who does want to buy Casper, you guys are more than welcome to utilize my Mexi signup link down in the description below as well as in the you know, comments below. Um, I believe you do get $20 from Mexi. I might be wrong, but if you guys do want to utilize that Mexi sign up, you guys are more than welcome to. The reason why I have utilized Mexi for Casper is that there is no lockup period, so I can send it to a validator and actually stake my Casper immediately. And if you guys do want to learn how to you know, stake your Casper, go check out Kevin Cage. He does do an incredible tutorial on how to stake your Casper. Uh, very well in depth as well. You guys are more than welcome to go check that out as well. So with all that in mind, yes, Casper is disrupting the gaming industry. And uh, we actually do see them talking about CD Projekt in this video. Uh, if you guys don't know who CD Projekt is, it's okay. I completely understand. A lot of individuals are not actually looking into the gaming scene. CD Projekt is a massive company. Uh, they have a presence in eight countries. They also have over 1,000 plus talented professionals. And not only that, um, but they are a company that is at the forefront of some very large uh, games. You know, if you guys do play games, I'm sure that you guys are probably all aware of. If you guys don't play games, it's okay. You don't need to. Um, there is over 1,300 plus awards for them around the gaming industry and over 80 million copies sold. They are the name behind Cyberpunk 2077, as well as The Witcher, as well as Gwent, Promised Land, or uh, sorry, this is their art festival. Um, I thought that this was another game, but these are the main three games that they are a part of. I have played The Witcher. I think that it is incredible. I've also played, you know, Cyberpunk 2027. Uh, or 2077, sorry. And all of these have incredible graphics in them. You could actually look at just the graphics on my screen. Like these are incredible games. They are a you know company that does not mess around at all when it comes to gaming. And I think that this is great for Casper. Also, that is not the only thing. We also do see over here beyond Ethereum 3.0, there's Casper 2.0. We're here to remind folks that there's a whole world that exists on the other side of the merge. And it's not aspirational. It's already here on Casper. And and here we have um, this article from the 13th. Beyond Ethereum 3.0, there's Casper 2.0. While Ethereum aims to finally upgrade its consensus protocol, after seven years, Casper's posi uh, position to upgrade its consensus protocol just two years after its launch. You know, we're here to remind folks that there's a whole world that exists on the other side of the merge, and it's not aspirational. It's already here on Casper. And we do see Casper 1.0 introduced the most technologically advanced, secure, and accessible blockchain on the market. And it is only just scratched the surface of the broader vision that inspired Casper. Casper 2.0 is coming. Casper 2.0 will realize the most ambitious features envisioned by the Ethereum 3.0 roadmap. And yes, that's right. Ethereum 3.0. Uh, which, hey, it took them seven years to get from Ethereum 1.0 to 2.0. How long will it take them from Ethereum 2.0 to Ethereum 3.0? Hmm, who knows? Um, and we do see down here, you know, at a time when Ethereum 2.0 is only just starting to become a reality and where even the most optimistic projections put 3.0 at five or more years down the road, Casper, you know, was conceived as a proof of stake blockchain from its earliest days and the network's performance has been battle tested through all kinds of scenarios. And again, like Ethereum 2.0, you know, first off, we really kind of look at a lot of things happening around Ethereum. I would argue that, you know, uh, like Casper, as well as these other major networks in the space, they're already here. Okay. And when we really kind of look at things happening, I, I, I would argue that, you know, some of these networks have such incredible opportunities within this market. And I would argue that right now, as we do look at Ethereum 2.0, as we look at Casper 2.0, as we look at some of these major networks being built, you know, Casper is probably one of the only networks in the space that has the capabilities of becoming, you know, Ethereum 3.0. Like this is the true Ethereum 3.0. I've always said that they are because of the tech stack behind them. You know, do I think that they need to have a burn mechanism in place? Do I think that they need to incorporate some better tokenomics sort of mechanism? 100%. And I think that they will 
you know, look into that most likely. Um, if they don't, it's okay. They don't need to necessarily. Um, but I am focused on where Casper is going to be positioned in the next major cycle. Like I said, I think that it could hit some nice levels. Um, and I think that the gains here could be substantial comparing it to most assets in the space like ADA or Solana, etc. Like, you know, Casper is very early on and it is very low in regards to market cap compared to most. Uh, so it does have a ton of upside. And here are some of the features that we could expect in quarter one of 2023. You know, new and improved consensus mechanism. Uh, we also do see down here unified accounts, unified contracts. And then last but not least, open validator model as well. So you love to see them continuously building, continuously moving uh, the needle here in regards to upgrades in Casper 2.0 is coming and it's going to be a major success in my opinion and also last but not least we did see casper announce that they th they officially joined hyperledger foundation and they are going to be working with them to drive a more interoperable future for businesses building on casper blockchain to be clear we've joined the foundation not acquired it as one headline mistakenly report it and i think that this is incredible because if you actually look at hyperledger foundation they have nearly every name you know that you could possibly think of already partnered with them i mean some of the major ones that you guys are probably all aware of is like walmart uh ibm accenture dtcc hitachi there is so many names tied to this even swift by the way like swift you guys are already <laughs> like i don't need to describe swift to you guys i mean like, let's be honest um but there's so many other names on here as well uh deutsche bank you also see i think walmart is even assigned to this as well like it's crazy american express and there's so many like if you scroll through here it is you know something special and it, it also provides you an insight on where casper is really kind of positioned themselves in this market very similar to like xdc right everyone is going to continuously overlook these assets until they do wake up and they shock the entire world and i think that this is very exciting i think that this is awesome uh, we might break this, you know, overall update down a little bit more in depth in another video. I know that this video is running a little bit, you know, longer, so I do apologize. But with that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.